What is going on, guys? Welcome back into another video. Now, this past Tuesday, Bungie actually dropped the new mid-season update in 7.0.5.0. And with that update, it brought a ton of weapon changes within PvE going forward. Now, no other weapon type inside of the game right now was affected more in a positive way than auto rifles since they did receive a 25% damage buff against red and orange bar enemies. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five primary auto rifles that I'll be looking to use for the remaining of season 20. We're also going to be going over a few recommended perk combos that really take these weapons to the next level so you can absolutely dominate inside a PvE for the remainder of Season of Defiance. Now before we get into it, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, feel free to hit that thumbs up and sub to the channel. We are getting super close to our goal of a thousand subs on the channel and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the amazing support. Now starting off with a few notes, I do think that 720 RPM auto rifles are really the way to go. Not to say you can't use 600 RPMs or 450s, but those are really going to rely more on like great perk combos to be competitive, while 720s really provide the stiffest competition to SMGs in the game right now. I also want to note that I tried to stick to only kinetic legendary primaries within this list, so there's not going to be talk of any exotics or energy weapons at all. I also tried to stick to weapons that you can obtain in the game right now from world drops and by playing particular activities, so no weapon on here has to be bought from Xur or Banshee at all. You can grind certain activities if you don't have a great role on these weapons. Now, with that being said, that is going to lead us into our first weapon on the list at number five, and that is going to be the Seventh Seraph Carbine. Now, this weapon is a precision frame 450 round per minute kinetic auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 34 and can be obtained from both world drops and playing through the Spire the Watcher dungeon. Now, this weapon has a decent rate of fire and an extremely stable recoil pattern, which makes it easy to control in really any PvE activity you're doing. It also sports some excellent base stats with good range, stability, and reload speed as well. Now, in terms of perks that I'd recommend for this weapon, I'm gonna be looking for a reconstruction target lock roll. And remember with reconstruction, it's gonna allow the weapon to slowly reload itself over time up to double the amount of ammo capacity. And with target lock, it's gonna improve the aim assist and accuracy while ADSing, making it easier to land those critical hits on enemies. Now, moving on to our next weapon on the list and one of the most uniquely designed weapons in the game i'm talking about the trials of the nine auto rifle the last breath now this weapon is an adaptive frame 600 round per minute kinetic auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 43 and can be obtained by completing the prophecy dungeon now while this weapon has amazing recoil control and a unique sight its perk options are what really separate it from the pack in the kinetic slot Perks like Subsistence, which allows you to defeat targets to partially reload the magazine from reserves, and Frenzy, which is being in combat for an extended time, increases damage handling and reload for this weapon until you're out of combat, really take this weapon to another level and let you dominate any situation that you're in. Now, moving over to our next weapon on the list, which is going to be one of the newer weapons that dropped within the Lightfall DLC, which is going to be the Perpetualist. Now, this weapon is an adaptive frame, 600 round per minute, can Kinetic strand auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 41 and can be obtained by playing through the defiant battlegrounds or by focusing defiant engrams at the helm now this weapon is craftable once you unlock five red box versions of this weapon and since it's a strand weapon it does have some super unique perks on it that synergize extremely well with your strand builds this season now the god roll that i'd be on the lookout for or the one that i would really craft with enhanced perks would be one with envious assassin which is is rapidly defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves. This effect can overflow the magazine based on the number of targets defeated. And I'd pair that up with Hatchling, which is precision final blows or rapidly defeating targets with a non-precision weapon, spawns a Threadling at the target's location. And again, Hatchling, we've covered this in some of our other videos, really, really synergizes well with those strand builds this season. Now, moving on to our next weapon on the list at number two, I'm gonna be recommending the Crate. Now, this weapon is a rapid fire frame, 720 round per minute, Stasis kinetic auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 53 and can be obtained from base world drops in the game right now. Now, this weapon features a high rate of fire, solid impact, and a whole slew of powerful perks to choose from that simply makes it one of the best auto rifles in the game. Now, the roll that I'd recommend on this weapon is going to be a subsistence headstone roll. And I know we touched on subsistence a little bit earlier. It's going to give us 14% of 
the weapons mag back after we get a kill and with headstone it can be an extremely powerful perk if you know how to use it now that is going to lead us to the final weapon on our list at number one and that is going to be the new root of nightmares raid legendary auto rifle rufus's fury now this weapon is a rapid fire frame 720 round per minute strand kinetic auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 54 and can be obtained by completing the new root of nightmares raid now this weapon is also craftable once you unlock five red box versions versions of the weapon and with it being a strand slash raid weapon it has an absolutely fantastic pve perk pool available on it now we did do a complete breakdown of this weapon a couple videos ago so i'll leave the link to that video in the description below now, with that being said the god roll that i'd recommend you guys shoot for is going to be a reconstruction target lock roll remember reconstruction is going to have the ability to reload the weapon while it's stowed and also double up the mag size and target lock is going to give you the damage increase the longer this weapon remains on a target now to wrap things up i think that any weapons that we've mentioned within this list would be great options going forward especially after this buff that bungie has rolled out this 25 percent damage increase should make auto rifles an exceptionally strong choice for pve in-game content going forward and should allow us a lot of flexibility for some of our builds as well now as always guys if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any of these weapons feel free to leave them in the comments section below guys thanks a lot for checking out this video i really hope these recommendations help you throughout the rest of season 20 and i will plan on seeing you all in the next video